Hey everybody, uh, thanks for checking out the second uh, part of our uh, Making a Star Wars Fan Film video. In this one we're going to talk about uh, the props that we're going to use uh, for this first one and some uh, test footage that we've done with it. Uh, give you a little bit of a sneak peek on uh, what's coming. So we're making pretty good progress on this. We've uh, got almost all of the shots completed. Got a handful more to do. Uh, the storyboards really helped out. Uh, this is our first project that we're doing like this. Uh, probably we'll do a few more. This one's pretty fun so far. Um, it's been a neat process to uh, write out the story using the Dan Harmon story circle, as you can see in the previous video. So in this video, we're going to go through some of the storyboarding and some of the props that we purchased on our most recent trip to uh, Disney World, the, to the Galaxy's Edge Park. Awesome experience. Uh, highly recommend that for anybody that uh, has the opportunity to go. Um, not a lot is open just yet, but it was still a great uh, time. Lots of shopping, obviously. So that was where we got some of these... Uh, uh, little props that we will probably use in this. Um, you know, these props are okay. They're going to need some weathering. They're going to need some uh, some updates to make them look pretty good and not quite just like little toys. Uh, but they're a pretty good start. If you checked out the previous video in which we uh, started to come up with a story concept and we're using the Dan Harmon story circle to do this uh, for this experiment, you'll see that uh, you know this story is going to be about a Jedi who is on a search for a Sith holocron. Um, and then he's going to get the holocron, and then he's going to be tempted by the dark side. And this is going to be his uh, small circle uh, of his story in this case. This is going to be his, uh, you know, where he has a task, he has to complete this task. He's going to experience some change because of this task. So uh, one of the props that we got, of course, we need this Sith holocron. So um, this is a, a pretty interesting little toy. Um, Makes some neat sounds, has some interesting lights. We're going to add quite a bit of special effects to this, I think, for our vision. Uh, we may even wind up making one of our own of this uh, just to be a little bit more uh, cinematic with it uh, eventually. But for this one, we're going to stick with these easy props. So we also got this uh, Jedi Holocron too, but we're not going to use that in this one. We'll save that one for um, another short film that we do, maybe the next one, when we continue the story. So, of course, uh, what uh, Jedi story would be complete without... Uh, the uh, the lightsaber here, right? Uh, so this is going to be our hero's lightsaber. This is one that um, that uh, one of my kids built in the Savi's workshop. Um, they both got to go through and build theirs. We're going to use this one for his story, uh, and also these Jedi robes back here that I got off of Amazon. Uh, pretty inexpensive, maybe 40, 50 bucks or so for the whole set. So in some of this test footage that you'll see here, we've started to test out the costumes. Uh, we went to Florida for our vacation, so we took advantage of some of the uh, the, the nature outside there uh, for some of these outdoor shots to make it look like we were landing on a on another planet. So I also wanted to show some test shots here uh, just to give some example of what this is going to look like. Um, this kind of helps the kids get into uh, the character and see, what, see how it's going to be. Uh, some of these shots may not actually be in our fan film, but you know this uh, sort of sets the stage for uh, c the continuation of this story. I hope we wind up doing two or three more of these. And so in this one, you can see the the Sith red lightsaber. Uh, it's a pretty cool effect. I think uh, you know considering that we haven't done any special effects with this, this is just straight out of the camera. And then here's some uh, outdoor shots of our Jedi landing on the remote planet looking for uh, the Sith holocron. We filmed these uh, outside uh, using the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K uh, on a uh, Moza Air 2 gimbal um, with the Panasonic uh, 25mm 1.7. Um, and uh, it came out pretty good, I think. You know, this is uh, it kind of looks like a remote planet. I did a little slight color grade here just to the clouds just to kind of make it look a little less like Florida. Um, but obviously Florida has some pretty good scenery for this type of thing. These trees look pretty neat here. So then as you can see in this clip, here is the Sith Holocron, um, and I've added a little bit of a special flair to this and made a track to the Holocron, just so it looks like the light is emanating from inside of it. So part of this experiment is to use the Dan Harmon story circle to quickly develop a story around this Jedi, and then to also follow the process through and to actually create storyboards for the first time. So to do this, we just took a piece of paper, we just drew some rectangles on uh, the paper, and we started to fill in. These are the main shots that we need to get. Okay, and so this basically gave us, you know, 12 to 16 uh, for shots that we knew that we needed to be able to tell this three to four minute story. 
Uh, this is a great way to do it. I'm going to be doing this every single time in the future because it uh, basically creates your shot list for you. So now the important thing about these storyboards is, you know, you don't have to be an artist. You can use stick figures like I did here. You know, we're just basically trying to tell the story with a little bit of a text to the side just to kind of give us a reminder of what we're trying to do for this particular thing. So then as we film each piece, I can just go through and check each one of these things off. And I realize uh, at the end that I've got everything that I need for this whole story. And then I can go through and begin to edit it. This first one is just, uh, you know, right out of the gate. Just keep it simple. Try to do this within two weeks. I'm really trying to release this by the new year so that uh, we can just sort of, you know, time box it and be finished with it and then move on to the next one. I'm not trying to be a perfectionist with this. I'm just trying to tell a basic story and follow through this process and uh, show the kids that this is a pretty fun thing to do, you know, and not too bad of a way to spend a family vacation. So we're not experts in this. This is our first time uh, trying something like this. Uh, we're learning a lot and we'll learn a lot more uh, for the next one and for the next one and for the next one. So this is just a process of creating these short videos so that we can improve each time so that eventually we're pretty decent at it. So if you're new to this channel, I like to make these types of videos to uh, you know, show how I'm learning these things as I create these films on my own. So if you're enjoying this series, please uh, drop it a like and uh, make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss uh, future installments in this series and then future videos that we're going to be doing, uh, as well as you know how we create some of the props and how we do some of the special effects with the green screen. Uh, we're just learning all this as we go, so um, you know, stay tuned and you can learn along with us, right? So that's it for this second installment of this series on uh, creating a Star Wars fan film. Um, in the next one, we're going to talk more about some of the special effects. And then probably around that time, I'll actually have it re ready for release. And I will also put it out on the channel so people can see it. We'll continue doing a couple of more of these behind the scenes as we go, just to kind of fill in the gaps of, of what else we learned along the way of doing this one. Uh, and then we'll probably start on the next one. So thanks for checking out, and we'll see you next time.